Hello everyone, I'm Jacob and today I'm going to show you how to do an 8-bit style type uh, piece of artwork. It's going to look something like this image here of Honest Abe. Okay, so first thing you do is you find your image, um, royalty free like a champ. Anyways, uh, let's see here. First thing you want to do, let's see if I can get this right the first time. Alright, mode, then you want to go to indexed and I think I think it starts out at gener generate optimum palette uh, you want to go to use custom palette and go down here and open the palette selection dialog um, we're gonna wanna go and create a new palette uh, from there you're just gonna have to right click and based on what your front your foreground color and your background colors are is what the colors are that are available um, so if I wanted to do a blue like it is currently, I would just do that. Right click. Now let's change this color to slightly lighter blue and do the same thing. And we're going to repeat the process a few times. And you want to get a range of colors from light to dark. Um, okay, so four is good. Um, so we're going to go save. Well, let's name this real quick, sorry. Let's call this 8-bit. Okay, save. Exit. I hope that did that right. Okay. Alright, and I believe it's not going to refresh automatically. What we're going to need to do is like I said, out of this. So image, mode, indexed, use custom, and there's 8-bit right there. I believe we want to do this right here because we have some extra ones. Anyways, and move this to positioned and convert. Bam. That by itself is pretty cool looking. Um, not exactly the style that I'm going to finish showing you, but I don't know. I'd run with that. I mean, it's pretty cool. Anyways, so the next thing you want to do, this is indexed uh, currently. So what we're going to do is save as, or not save as, sorry. We're just going to go ahead and copy this edit copy and then open a new f image and control V brings in the new image I'm gonna right click anchor layer and we're gonna wanna go to scale image let's make this 50 percent and make sure your chain is locked so it keeps the proportions uh, if you zoom in, you start to see even closer in 8-bit style, but it's kind of blurry because we downscaled it. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is go back to mode, indexed, and this time none. Keep your same palette and convert. And voila, there's your 8-bit type image. I'm going to take a step back real quick. From this step right here, I know there's not much of a change, but it makes a difference. Anyways. Uh, so from this step right here, there's another way you can do it. Um, kind of gives you a slightly different look. Is you go to posturize and adjust the number of colors you want visible to higher than many. I'm just gonna keep it at four. So without, with, without, with, and that kind of just solidifies it on to four colors, no blur at all. So from there, you'll notice that we're zoomed in at 200%. So your final image is kind of small like this. If you want a larger image looking like this, um, the trick to do this is simple as take a screenshot, which on Windows is usually called PRTSC um, on your keyboard, usually in the top right. And then go to New Image. Da, da, da. Edit, paste this in. Right click new layer, get rid of the background. Okay, image fit canvas to layer. That brings it all over here. See now we're at hundred percent, but you see still see the same image this upsized image, so you can just select yourself just that part, edit copy, um, edit paste new layer, delete the old one, image fit canvas to layers, and there's your full size image 
of Abe Lincoln in a Nintendo game or something like that. So that's how you do 8-bit. Thanks for watching.